<laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nadia Taj, and I am here proud to announce our next speaker. How to stop stress and negativity through affecting you by Ryan Hader. Ryan will show you how to feel energized, balanced, and grounded in spite of negativity and stress around you. You will experience live audience demonstrations while utilizing guided imagery and other means by which to share these exciting techniques. Ryan Hader is a Reiki master and the Yuzui method, a higher brain living master facilitator and a yoga expert. He has led workshops, lectures, and trainings nationwide in his 11-year career. He has also studied quantum physics, spirituality, and human potential. So please give me a round of applause for Ryan Hader. That was lovely. Thank you very much. Do any of you have any stress in your lives? See, every time I ask that, everyone laughs. <laughs> well, I've got, this is, I usually do this talk in about an hour, and I'm going to try and we're going to fit it into less than 30 minutes. So I'm going to throw a lot of information at you in a really short period of time. So what if I told you that your stress or your anxiety response were not because of the conditions of your actual life, but were perhaps um, because of the conditions of the environment that we live in? Hmm? So I'm going to tell you a little bit about how the human brain works. So I'd like you to consider Cro-Magnon woman and man, hundreds of thousands of years ago. When I say that, Cro-Magnon woman and man, you get an image in your mind. And I'm confident that in that image, Cro-Magnon woman and man, their heads and skulls look a little bit different than ours do today. Am I, am I, am I right in assuming that? That's because in prehistoric times, human beings were lacking a very particular part of the brain, which we now have today, called the prefrontal cortex. The brain grows in layers, and the most recent layer of brain meat, so to speak, is the frontal lobe. Cro-Magnon woman and man had one purpose, procreate, sustain the family, and don't get eaten by a tiger today. Have you ever seen the Disney movie, The Croods? Yeah, okay, well, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a perfect analogy. Just In this movie, the cave family, they're so afraid of the beautiful world outside of them, the predator-rich environment that they lived in, that they accepted a less than satisfactory life, hiding in the caves, all right? Now, the brain has not changed in, in, over the years. We've, we've, we've got the new physiology, but not yet the new function. Like, we have the anatomy, but not yet the full function of the frontal lobe. Survival, procreation, don't get eaten by a tiger. Sameness equals safety. If we stay the same, we're going to stay alive. So to the lower structures of the brain, if you made it through your day and you're still alive, it says success, success, success. Only today, the cave has become a job that you do not like, yet you can't imagine your life without it. What am I going to do without this job? What am I going to do if I don't have money? I'm not going to survive. So I'm going to stay in the poor working experience out of fear, fear of survival. Okay. Same thing with relationships. I'm in an abusive relationship, but I can't imagine my life without it. So we accept the abusive relationship because it's safer to stay in that dynamic because we can predict what's happening and we know how to survive in that abusive relationship. That is less scary than leaving and experiencing uncharted territory. Have you heard the term myelination? Myelin is white matter that the brain produces. So if I say to you, um, practice makes perfect. I'm a musician, so if I hear it bite by ear, if I hear a tune, I pick a guitar up and I start fumbling around trying to find this tune I'm hearing, there's a pinpointed spot in my brain that's igniting when I hear that song. All my energy goes into playing this tune. By the time I can play the song, look at you and have a conversation without thinking about what I'm doing, yet the music is being performed effortlessly, yet no energy is being spent on my part to play it, 
That song has become a permanent part of who I am. My brain has myelinated the pathway associated with that piece of music. So when you create new habits and patterns, by the time it becomes a part of who you are, your brain has myelinated those pathways. Is everyone with me so far? So the frontal lobe of the brain, um, it's not myelinated as much as the lower structures. We're going against hundreds, hundreds of thousands of years of evolution. Stay the same, stay safe, okay? You have a Cro-Magnon woman and man had no reason to feel personally fulfilled, no reason to express themselves creatively. That was not a part of their experience. It was just survive. Someone cuts you off in traffic, slams on the brakes. What happens to your body? You seize up. The whole body seizes up, the breath stops, and we go into a stress response. That stress response is governing a large portion of our day-to-day -day life. Now, I'm confident you've all had experiences of your prefrontal cortex. Anytime you're absorbed in the present moment, a professional athlete will say, the game slows down for me. To us, they're accomplishing superhuman feats, but to that player, time stops, and they're moving at lightning speed, but to them, it's easy peasy, slow business. When you're dancing, when you're making love, when you're talking to a dear friend, hours go by, it feels like five minutes. Prefrontal cortex, prefrontal cortex. Deep meditative states of awareness, the prefrontal cortex. Are there any meditators in the room? You remember, so the first time you sat down to meditate was a whole lot different than the most recent meditation you had, right? The brain changes every time you sit. There are pathways in the frontal lobe which are forming and myelinating, but still we're going against hundreds of thousands of years. Our brains are hardwired for stress, hardwired for survival. It's just how we're wired. There's that, okay? The other thing, the other part of how our environment might be causing our stress is we do not live in nature anymore. There are frequencies all around us, cell phones, Wi-Fi, electronics, fluorescent lighting. All of these frequencies, or rather we're living in what's called a positive ionic charge. Have we heard of ions before? It's becoming more and more common knowledge. Now positive ions, how do positive ions affect us? There's a term called Rouleau, and it's blood related. Have we heard that word? Rouleau is when the blood platelets stick together or stack. Positive ions prompt our blood to rouleau. When you go for a walk in the woods, how do you feel? Better, calmer, more grounded, more centered. Nature generates negative ions. So as our world becomes more well, as we find ourselves living in a more vibrationally toxic environment due to the electronic age that we live in, getting out into nature is feeling better and better and better and better to us, right? It doesn't have this, like when you were younger, when you were a child and you went out in the woods, maybe you didn't even notice that you felt better. But now, 20, 30, 40 years later, a walk in the woods is like a little piece of heaven. It feels so much better because our frequency has changed. Negative ions, which we get from nature, prompt the blood platelets to separate. When the blood platelets separate, you oxygenate at a faster or higher rate, which is why you feel so much better when you're in nature. Less stress, more calm, more grounded, more centered. Our bodies are a part of nature. They're not a part of electronics. Even though that's maybe where we're going, nature is our natural state. So, since we're being bombarded by positive ions constantly, every single one of you has a cell phone, and that phone is affecting every single one of you. Everyone's affected by everyone else's super high-powered device here. These are powerful devices. And I'm not saying this to create fear or anything like that. I'm just saying this to educate you a little bit and to maybe ease your mind to know that we've got a lot working against us as far as our stress response goes. It might be 
more than just the conditions of our life. There's the wiring of the brain paired with the frequency that we live in. This is another reason though, there's something inside of us that says there must be more. You would not be here at this type of an event hearing these speakers, talking to these vendors, something in you is looking for something. Something's off, something's not right. We're all here because we want to understand what's going on. We want to have a higher quality of life in some way. Am I, am I, we're, we're, kind of, we're kind of feeling that, right? God, I've got a lot to say. <laughs> so, Again, we have the wiring of the brain, myelination, just how we've evolved paired with the sort of energetically or vibrationally toxic environment that we live in. What do we do about it? Please come into a comfortable seat for a moment. Um, I'm just gonna share with you a brief exercise to help shift your brain state, to help shift yourself into a more calm, or centered place. And from there, I'll show you why I'm here and what I'm sharing with people. Uh, close your eyes for a moment. Now just go inside, feel what you're feeling without necessarily defining or wrapping words around what you're feeling. Very good, open your eyes. Now what I'm going to share with you is a yogic breathing exercise. Very simple, anyone can do it. It's called Nadi Shodna, or alternate nostril breathing. Has anyone heard of this? Yeah, it's cool stuff. So we're just gonna do a little bit of that now because I want you to leave this talk with a tool that you can utilize. And I promise, if you do this for just five minutes, first thing in the morning, in the course of 30 days, your entire life will start to change. I'm deeply confident in that. So with your right hand, either your pinky, fin or your pinky finger and thumb or um, pinky finger and, and uh, index finger, or I'm sorry, thumb and pinky or thumb and ring, I like to hang loose. So whatever, whatever your choice is. So I'm just gonna guide you through this and we'll do this for a few moments. With an open mouth, exhale all of the air out of your lungs. Plug your right nostril with your thumb. Inhale, left. Plug left, exhale right. Close your eyes. Inhale right. Plug right, exhale left. Inhale left. Plug left, exhale right. Inhale right. Plug right, exhale left. Inhale left. Plug left, exhale right. Inhale right. Plug right, exhale left. Last round here, inhale left. Plug left, exhale right. Keep your eyes closed, release your hand down, bring the tip of the tongue behind your two front teeth and just check in again without wrapping words around what you're feeling, without defining it. and open your eyes when you're ready. Now that was just a very short period for the time of the lecture. I just gave you a short little taste of that. But do any of you feel a little bit different? What do we got? A little calmer, a little bit more centered, a little bit more grounded. See, your body is always now. Your body is always in the present moment. The mind has the ability to travel back in time and experience regret, or it can also travel into the future where we experience worry, stress. Neither one exists now. 
Anytime you anchor your awareness into anything physical, yoga practices, meditation, breathing exercises, anytime you bring your awareness into your body, the mind follows suit and comes into the present moment. There's a lot going on with this. So that little exercise, so that one little thing, that can really shift you. It's a, it's a very valuable tool. And I would encourage you to do that as often as you possibly can. Now what led me here today, what I'm here to share with everybody. Um, in my journey, I was at a talk, at a, an event, a, a larger event than this in San Francisco, doing a le lecturing on some other, some other work that I do. And I met a man who's now one of my mentors named Dr. Gary Douglas, and he showed me some really fascinating things. We have the frequency of cell phones, Wi-Fi, et cetera. What can we do about that? And how is it affecting us? So I'd like to do, I've got seven minutes, so we're gonna cruise through this. I want four brave people. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. So I need um, one person standing here. I know this isn't good for the video, but this is how my talk goes. So I'm going to have you put you right here. And if you miss, I'm going to have you stand right here if you would turn and face the audience. And I'm going to have you go right here and you right here. Now, how do we know if we're grounded or not? I want to put you all in an off-balance position. Please cross your right ankle in front of your left. Yes. Yes. Right ankle in front of left. We got it. Now, two fists, just like this. Bring them to your hips with your wrists turned up. Now, ladies, please press firm on your hips. Firm and tight and straighten your spine. And I'm just going to come around and take them off balance. We're going to see what happens here. Please stay very strong. Huh? Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. I just want you to put that in your hand, put this in your hand, put this in your hand, and put this in your hand. Fist to hips. Now what they're holding is a negative ionic charge. Okay? They're holding an item that generates an abundance of negative ions. Each one of them is holding a force in their hand. That's what that means. Why, what is, why does that even matter? <laughs> What's going on here? This is staged. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Force the second time. <laughs> what did you feel? I, I feel like I'm uh, a doll, a peg leg doll, when I don't pull it in my hands. I feel like I'm literally teetering. Ungrounded, unsteady, unstable. The frequency we live in is causing all of us to be less strong than nature intended us to be, miss? Hmm. Tree trunk extending up from the earth. That sounds like the word you felt grounded. That's literally what that means, miss. Well, what I said was you put a lot more pressure even when we had it in our It felt mm -hmm. like more pressure when you had it in your hand, but I didn't, I didn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. But it felt like less pressure without it, and I went right over. Miss? Very steady when I was holding it. Very good. I heard someone say this was staged. Who was that? Staged. Sir, would you like to, can, can we do a little something with you and these four women? <laughs> uh, everyone's standing up here, the four ladies. Are you all, are you all able-bodied, strong hips, strong knees, strong backs, no pain, you're in good shape? Okay. Sir, I'd like you to come and sit right here. What's your name? Neil. Neil, have a seat right here. All right, Neil, now I want you to stay really stiff and rigid. Now, ladies, please come here on either side of Neil, okay? Now, <laughs> now, I'd actually like, the two of you are a little bit shorter, so I'd like you to go in front and like the taller women in back. Now, you two, let's see Charlie's Angels, middle finger and index finger. Let's see, no, you're okay, Neil, don't worry, buddy. All right, All right. now what you 
two are going to do, I'd like you to bend your knees and take your two fingers right underneath Neil's knee pits, right here, okay? And you two lucky ladies in the back, you get right underneath <laughs> Neil's armpits, you get right in there. All right, now, I'm going to stay nice and close here. On the count of three, I just want you to try and lift Neil up. One, two, three, lift. Lift, 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 lift. Okay, <laughs> set him down. Now again, girls, please put this on. Please put this on. Please put this on. Please put this on. And Neil, we're not going to leave you out here, buddy. You get to wear one too, sir. Just slide that right on over your head. Now, frequency is invisible, so what I'm doing here, I am just creating a negative ionic charge around everywhere that we are. All right, angels, let's get in the pits again. <laughs> now, on the count of three, do the same thing. One, two, three, lift, 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 hold. Set him down, Jen. Now, did anything feel different between the first and second time? A lot easier the second time. A lot easier the second time? It seemed, I mean, yes, I was worried about his arm coming too high and losing. Yeah. I should have him to tell him to keep his arms up. How about you? Did you notice the difference? Yes, it was easier the second time. It was easier the second time? So, Neil didn't lose any weight, and they didn't <laughs> hit the gym or anything. Nothing, nothing <laughs> happened. We just shifted the frequency. When you're in the frequency of negative ions, your body works better. You have more muscular efficiency, less pain, more balance. Um, that's what I got. That's what I got. So we can slide those um, off. Did I, did I get this in time? So the, the mineral that these are made out of, yeah, I'm, I am at my time. So the, these are, the mineral here is called germanium. Germanium is the same element that's found in the sacred healing pools around the world. Lord's France is a very famous site. These waters are germanium rich. And people have these miraculous healing experiences. There's these little dots on the back of all of these pieces which generate negative ions. That's the germanium. Germanium and titanium, the same alloy that goes into the body if you get a surgical implant, together generates an extremely strong negative ionic charge. So strong that it negates the effects of 100 cell phones. Okay? Oh. <laughs> Again, I usually haven't, I usually, this is like an hour talk we put in 27 minutes, but I, I, I did it. So, <laughs> my booth is just inside the front door. If you walk in immediately to the left, E-Force Plus is the booth. I would love for you to feel this for yourself. Let me push you around. Let me let you, let you feel it. And we can, if you have any, if you want to add any components to the testing, what if a friend does it? Can I have somebody else do it? Anything like that. We can add any, just to take care of any skepticism or anything like that. We will, anything you can come up with, we will do and we will test right there. And for everyone who's in this talk, in this room, if you do the test and you decide that you want one of these, um, if you decide that you buy one, I have a piece, I've got two smaller pieces, 90 or $110, I'll throw a smaller piece in for you at no extra charge if you decide to get one, only for those of you who are in this room. So that's my time. My name's Ryan Hader, and I'll be right inside. I can answer any questions at my booth. I'm headed there right now. Thank you.